Good morning from the Protoss newsroom. The date today is Friday the 26th of February and you're listening to the Protoss Daily. These are the main headlines this morning. A group of designers has pitched a logo to represent Bitcoin subunit, the Satoshi. Kraken is looking to rake in some extra cash from a raise that could see it valued at more than $10 billion. And Craig Rides could find himself in another legal dispute, this time over $17 million of stolen Mt. Gox Bitcoin. At the current time of publication, Bitcoin is trading down 9% for the day at 46,000 US dollars. Cardano has been the only top 20 cryptocurrency to register a minor 2% gain in the past 24 hours, and Solana has been the worst, down over 15%. And now here's Jamie Lowe, bringing you today's news. An instantly recognisable logo is crucial for any company, even digital currencies that aren't technically owned by anybody. After all, anybody who's at least on nodding terms with crypto could spot the Bitcoin logo from a mile away. But what about the Satoshi, the subunit that represents one millionth of a Bitcoin? Well, now a group of designers from the Bitcoin design community believe they'd nailed just the right look for Bitcoin Junior. One dot on top of a stack of three dashes, followed by another dot at the bottom, just for the sake of symmetry. The proposed logo looks similar to the Chinese symbol for bountiful and luxurious growth of grass, an apparent reference to the vast amount of Satoshi still left to mine. Another little design tidbit can be found in the top half of the design, a sliver of Unicode, which translates to approaching the mathematical limit, a reference to Bitcoin's fixed supply. Whether or not the symbol finds favour with the wider community and sticks, only time will tell. But considering Bitcoin, and therefore Satoshis, are worth more than ever, what better time to decide than now? Crypto exchange Kraken is reportedly looking to rake in some extra cash from a raise that could see the company valued at somewhere north of $10 billion dollars. Bloomberg News is reporting that talks are going on with firms including Fidelity, Tribe Capital and General Atlantic. And according to those reports, if successful and given enough demand, the exchange could even be valued at more than $20 billion. The news comes on the back of Coinbase's S1 filing as it prepares to hit the Nasdaq under the ticker symbol COIN and proves once again that business is booming in the crypto exchange industry. But that's no surprise, given the particularly bullish Bitcoin market. Coinbase posted $322.2 million in profit last year after suffering a 30 mil net loss in 2019. The latest twist in the long-running Mt. Gox saga sees Danny Brewster, who lost money in the infamous hack, reveal he intends to take legal action against Craig Wright to regain control of funds tied up in the disputed OneFeex wallet. Tokyo-based WizSec performed forensic analysis on the Mt. Gox affair and found that the ill-fated exchange's hot wallet was completely drained into the one Feeks address in March of 2011. In his own legal endeavour, Craig Wright has claimed ownership of the wallet address that contains over 79,000 stolen Bitcoin from Mt. Gox. If Wright is indeed the rightful owner of the infamous One Fix wallet, then Danny Brewster may seek an asset prevention order and bring a lawsuit against the Bitcoin SV creator. A letter from Brewster's lawyer states that if Wright can lay a legal claim to the more than $17 million locked up in the address, then he should expect a suit filed against him for Brewster's stolen Bitcoin, which is gathering dust in the One Fix wallet. Digital artist Beeple, who's already made close to $9 million from his art, has received bids of $2.4 million for his latest piece, and there's still 13 days of bidding left to go. Demand for the piece, a collage titled Every Days, the first 5,000 days, was intense from the get-go, with bids exceeding $1 million in the first 10 minutes. The piece itself is a fully digital NFT, meaning that there are no physical copies, T-shirts or coffee mugs to be sold alongside the piece. And a lot of the hype surrounding it stems from the fact that it's the first ever piece of its kind to go under the hammer at a major auction house. In this case, New York-based Christie's. The piece looks like it's going to be just the latest in a long line of money spinners for Beeple. One of his earlier works, the Donald Trump-themed Crossroads, recently sold on Nifty Gateway for $6.6 million, making it the most expensive NFT ever sold. 
Thank you all for listening. If you'd like to stay up to date with the latest from the world of crypto, then make sure you subscribe to the Protoss Daily on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all of our major podcast providers.